to explain my vote uh, in opposition to this legislation. Um, it is clear that everyone in this chamber uh, desires to keep uh, firearms and weapons out of the hands of those that are mentally ill, uh, those that are at risk of harming themselves or others is a laudable goal. This bill does nothing to provide any relief, any, any help to the individual that may be the subject of one of these uh, orders. Uh, due process is lacking uh, in this because the person who the order is being issued against isn't notified of anything until after the decision uh, is made. And while it's the same standard for an involuntary commitment to be civilly confined because you're a risk of harm to yourself or others mm -hmm. and entitled to a hearing after the fact, when someone is being civilly committed for being a risk of harm to themselves or others, they are entitled to legal representation. Re and representation is provided by the Office of Mental Health Legal Services. This bill does not afford or provide such a benefit to those being deprived of their Second Amendment right to own, possess, or to purchase a firearm. And because of that lacking reason, this will be an undue burden on individuals to be able to protect their right to, the second, to their Second Amendment right. Uh, so therefore, I must vote no on this legislation. Thank you.